Tonight, the ACLU is addressing the increase in crime and what can be done to steer away from mass incarceration and criminalization. A lot of the times people don't just commit crimes just because they want to. A lot of the times it's as a result of their environments and the situations that they're in. In 2017, criminal justice reforms were put in place. Policy strategist at the ACLU, Louisiana, Stephanie L. Willis, says the result is a reduction in incarcerations. Not only was it saving our communities a lot of money because there were less individuals that were being incarcerated, but at the same time, the savings that were received as a result of the reforms went back into the community. That money went towards supporting crime victims and community nonprofits, including the Louisiana Parole Project. Once they're exiting prisons, they were able to receive programs so that they continue receiving the education that they received while they were incarcerated, but that they could stay on the right track. Going forward, the ACLU is encouraging that money saved from the criminal justice reforms to continue to be invested into the community. We would like for the Department of Public Corrections to be able to have more programs so that the money from the, the savings that were received as a result result of JRI could go back into to the prison so that there's more education for individuals who are leaving prison. And they are fighting against bills that extend sentencing for certain crimes. We understand that survivors of crime victims, they want to be made whole. They want to feel safe. But at the same time, there's no correlation between sentencing and public safety. Ariel Salk, Fox 44 News.